volunteers with Project Green Touch work to keep, they work to keep Lake Bemidji State Park clean for you. Haiti Clatter shows us how those volunteers make the park fresh for the community. Every year on the first Saturday in May, volunteers with Project Green Touch spend the day trying to keep Lake Bemidji State Park clean. Project Green Touch is a collaboration of Minnesota Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. This is the 18th annual event and it's always been held at Lake Bemidji State Park because it's in the service area. Cooperatives that participate will um, go to a local state park in their service territory and with volunteers and employees from the cooperative help get their local parks ready for their 2017 or 2000 whatever season. One of Project Green Touch's core values is commitment to community. So about 15 volunteers showed up ready to work side by side with park staff and they started off with leaves. Volunteers help with raking leaves, picking up sticks, cleaning buildings and washing windows. There's something for everyone to do. This year, Dawn Mason is on roadside cleanup duty. And in her 18 years as a volunteer with Project Green Touch, she's found everything from car engines to tires. This year, it's been mostly alcohol bottles and um, McDonald's wrappers, I guess. Mason says it feels good when she sees the fruits of her labor. It's actually really fun to drive by and look at the clean ditches and go, I had a part in doing that, that it looks nice. Bradley Weir says it's fun being outside and wanted to help his aunt. If nobody does stuff like this, there'll eventually just be garbage everywhere and you just need to sometimes yeah, pitch in and clean up, make it look nice. Lake Bemidji State Park Manager Peter Harrison says maintaining a well-kept park is better for everyone. It feels good to... To know that they consider this important enough where they want to come out and participate and do something good for the community. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.